Humans are so imaginative to the point that we create games that put gamers into an entirely new world. So what if a game had a life of its own? This is something that we, a small team of CG artists from Penang, set out to explore in depth. We got the inspiration for our story from the claw machine games that are prevalent in Penang. So when we play the game, we are incredibly desperate to get our hands on toys. But you know, the target seems to keep further and further away from us. We suddenly had a thought that whenever we couldn't catch a toy, it's because they struggle to escape from the clock. Then it came to us the concept of a prey predator relationship. We had the idea to make a claw machine game which revolves around a predator type animal trying to grab hold of its prey. And after looking at specific food chains, we decided that the snake and the rabbit would work as rabbits are the most prominent food source of snakes. There are two main characters in our story. Milk, the timid one who gets stunned and the other one is Dust. He is the macho man who is smoking a carrot cigarette. In the outer hole is where you get the toys after you win the games and finally the invisible wall is to present the glass of the promotions. Our story takes place in a fantasy and a stylized world and one of our main reference is from the game Brawl Stars, No Time to Explain. We reference its extremely smooth body movements and editing which is sharp and quick. So one of the main things we opted to go for in the short film was a sort of style-shaded or toon-shaded design which is kind of 2D. So the designs of the characters have to be with sharp edges or curvatures. I'm quite impressed with that. Our team are able to come up with hundreds of hundreds of different color schemes. In choosing different colors to represent different locations and different time of the day. I gotta say that it was a grueling process. We are a group of passionate animators. Our objective here is to translate our storyboards into an animated story which we wish to convey. So we managed to get the whole thing out into the wilderness to act out all the scenes that we needed to animate. For the snake, I can only find the reference is based on the National Geographic or I use my own hand to do it myself. We blocked up the poses before proceeding to smooth them into the final outcome. While working on Rabbit, we knew we would be facing an uphill battle to finish the film on. Arguments tend to happen when members are in disagreement with each other. As we are just a small team of 12, we needed to instill a level of discipline amongst each other until completion of the film. I volunteer myself to learn rigging one semester early. So I learned the basic workflow first I only then use a script called Advanced Skeleton to help speed up the process. And of course, we will face a lot of technical goofs here and there. I will face a lot of distortion of how would the body act. But it was a really good experience. A lot of our audio is self-recorded in studio and that granted us a lot of control of the emotion that we wanted our character to express. The fear and the terror of the bunny depended on the acting that we were able to provide. We were given a lot of creative freedom in making the film. If not, we wouldn't have been able to achieve what we have. It was truly a rush to the finish line. But what each and everyone gained in the process was truly worth in the end. And that granted us a lot of. Yeah, the quick question. 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 Question.